Hey, this is Brian Rogers for BBK Performance to show you how to quickly and easily add more horsepower, torque, and throttle response to your 2004 to 2008 5.4 liter F series truck using our cold air induction system, part number 1744. Let's begin by unplugging the mass air sensor connector from the driver's side of the air filter box. Simply slide the red locking clip back and then squeeze the tab on the connector while pulling it away. Then disconnect the PCV tube from the passenger side of the air filter box by gently twisting the green coil type tab and pulling away. Now remove the five bolts that hold the air filter box and the inlet tube in place. With the bolts removed, lift the filter box and inlet tube away from the throttle body and out of the engine bay while disconnecting it from the fender well tube which will stay in place. Next, use a T20 Torx to remove the mass air sensor from the air filter box. Pull the meter straight out and place it directly into the meter bung on the BBK cold air tube. The bolt holes will only line up one way to prevent incorrect installation. Install the small end of the supplied PCV nipple into the blue silicone elbow until the step on the nipple bottoms out against it. Next, apply the black push-on seal strip to the top edge of the filter shield by pushing it down. Back at the truck, pull the remaining tube from the stock airbox out of the fender well. Slip one of the supplied hose clamps over the bottom of the silicone elbow, then guide the elbow over the mouth of the throttle body. This elbow will fit over both the stock throttle body or the BBK 1759 throttle body that you see installed here. Now tighten the hose clamp and snap the PCV hose onto the nipple. Slip the remaining supplied hose clamp over the top of the silicone elbow and feed the BBK inlet tube into the elbow. Drop the BBK filter shield into place and line the hole in the mounting tab up with the threaded hole in the fender apron. Use the supplied hardware to tighten the shield down. Plug the mass air connector into the meter, then slip the hose clamp for the air filter over the BBK inlet tube and guide the mouth of the filter through the filter shield and onto the inlet tube. Now you can tighten down the hose clamp at the filter and at the top of the silicone elbow to complete the installation. On our test vehicle, we also decided to do a little extra work to make the engine bay look cleaner by removing the bracket that supported the stock inlet tube. It's a simple matter of removing two nuts, removing the bracket, and then tightening one of the nuts back down to hold the rest of the bracket in place. For more information on this or any of the hundreds of parts that BBK makes for late model cars and trucks, check out bbkperformance.com. Here on the left, try our multiple search options or watch fun and informative product detail and installation videos. Up here on the top, use the tabs to order or download the latest catalog, find a dealer in your area, or read and download from our instruction sheet library that covers 20 plus years of BBK products. Don't forget to check out our homepage and blog to see what's new. Thanks for watching.